Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we'd like to discuss our fast blender modeling technique for paper vision. Now, one of the problems you have when you have a new technology like paper vision is that people try to put it in the old box, where paper vision is a fresh technology and needs a fresh approach, and this fast drawing technique in Blender is one of those new techniques. It's very simple. You're just going to take a background image, you're going to grab a single pixel, you're going to extrude around a structure, extrude its walls, close top and bottom, and then texturize, and I'm not even sure that's a real word. But you can get the uh, JPEG resource from www.professionalpapervision.com forward slash demos, forward slash projects, forward slash supper club, forward slash supper club dot JPEG. And now there are extensive tutorials on modeling and blender on the Professional Paper Vision book blog. You go to professionalpapervision.wordpress.com forward slash 3D modeling. So let's go to that real quick. And so here's the Professional Paper Vision book blog. And if you scroll over here to 3D modeling, click on that. And here you will see extensive tutorials now in 3ds Max and in Blender. And there's a lot more to come. We've got something super cool we're about to show you that we can do in Blender. You will be quite impressed. I've impressed myself. So at this point, let's go ahead and download that JPEG into Blender as a background. And let's start our quick draw technique. So we're in Blender right now. We're going to import our image. So go to View, Background Image, uh, Use Background, and Load. Uh, make sure you're in the desktop. And let's load our Supper Club image. So let's uh, scroll down and find it. There it is right there. And hit Select Image. And so now we've brought our image into Blender. Now there's a few things here. Uh, I can actually change the brightness of this image by this slider right here. And I actually want to keep it a little bit dark so I can actually see my pixels. So there's an optimum here, of course, and we'll, we'll go ahead and get out of that. So if you're like me and you're at home and you don't have your mouse with you, you just have your laptop, and you need to use that touchpad, you need to know these shortcut keys. And so the shortcut key for Zoom is Control alt plus the left mouse button. The shortcut key for Rotate is Alt plus the left mouse button. And the shortcut key for Pan is Shift plus Alt plus the left mouse button. Let's demonstrate those real quick here. So if I want to zoom, I can hit the Control, Alt, Left Mouse button, and there I am. Just by sliding the mouse on the touchpad, I can zoom in and out. If I want to rotate, just hit the Alt and uh, Left Mouse button, and I'm rotating around my figure. And to get that image back, of course, let's go back to Top View. And the last one is to Pan, which is very important. Shift, Alt, uh, and hold down that Left Mouse button, and slide along the touchpad you can slide your image around. So we're going to need all of those uh, for this quick draw technique. So right now I've, I've brought in my background image. I've changed the opacity list a little bit and I have a cube on the stage. I want to get rid of that and put a plane on the stage so I can grab a pixel from it. So hit the delete key, hit OK. And now just hit the space bar and add mesh, add plane. There you go. And it's already selected. We're in uh, edit mode which you get to by hitting the tab button. And let's hit the A key to get off this selection, to deselect all the pixels. And I want to grab one pixel, so right click on one pixel here on the edge. And the, dupli the duplicate command is Shift D. And we're just going to drag off a pixel. And you can see it right there. So make sure you remember where you put it because it's hard to see. And if you get just box around it, but you need to know the area around where you left it. So click on that. Actually, right, I want to hit the A key and get off of that. I'm going to come along here and hit the B key and select the plane. You just hit the delete key and get rid of it. I don't need that anymore. There you go. It's gone. So I'm going to hit B just so I can highlight that pixel again so I can see it. Oh, there it is. Good. And now I'm just going to start drawing. So it's just basically an E and a click. And you can actually extrude this pixel all the way around your supper club. And uh, then extrude the walls up. So it's a very simple, fast drawing technique. If you watch some of our previous tutorials for architecture modeling in Blender, it just took a, a long time to do this. Here, we're going to do this in about five minutes. So go ahead and hit the E key. And basically, keep your E key and your and just slide along a strude. Hit the E key again, and so you're just left clicking and E keying all the way around the structure. Isn't that cool? Hit the E key, and once you kind of get into the stride here, it's pretty easy. Just E click, and we'll do it real fast here. I mean, if you want to spend a little bit more time on getting the structure right now, I can't quite see what I, I'm modeling here. So I'm going to do my zoom technique, control alt, and I'm going to zoom in to the figure and I'm off of where I want to be. So let's hit shift alt and zoom and pan down. So we're really zoomed in right now because we want to catch this door right here. See there's a door right here. We want to be able to extrude that as well around it. So I'm going to stretch this pixel out a little bit. Don't quite have it where I want. 
So just remember that this is a technique. If you don't have the pixel where you want it, you can translate it without adding another extrusion. So okay, we're ready to start extruding again. So hit the uh, E key and uh, pull it out. There you go. And at this point, I actually want to pull up this pixel. So I'm actually switch pixels by right-clicking, hit the E key, and now we're going to pull that pixel up. There we go. E key. Click. Here's the door, so make sure you uh, put the joints in between the doors so you can leave that edge down as you extrude everything up, and the doorway will be exposed. And let's come down here. Click. 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 Excuse me. Extrude. And just leave that there, and uh, let's pan again. So we're going to hit our Shift, Alt, Pan. And we're going to start, and actually we can zoom back a little bit now once we uh, grab this pixel to extrude. There we go, just switch pixels, E, and extrude. And at this point, what you can do with your extrusion, you can just click there and you can start translating that pixel down to stretch that line out. There's a lot more detail you can do inside, and you will do that, of course. But let's go ahead and just finish the uh, building real quick so we can show you how this process works. Okay, so we're extruding up along our uh, architectural surface here. We're getting close to our last point. We had E key, let's extrude over. So what I've done, I've actually selected all the edges so you can actually see it, and we're about to join these this point with that point. And it's important that you join your structure together. So I have one more extrusion to do, so I'll right-click on that last point, and I need to move it over just a little bit to get it on the structure. I'm going to hit E to extrude. Extrude it up very close to that line, and I'm going to click. And now I'll hit my B key. Make sure both uh, points are selected, the beginning and end point. You can see the two points right there. Let's zoom in on that so you can take a look at that. And now to join those, all I have to do is hit the W key, go to Merge, and at Center. And now those two points are joined. Let's get off. Let's hit the A key so you can see the selection. And there it is right there. I've built my entire structure. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and rotate it so you can actually see the structure. So we'll go ahead and uh, zoom out. That's Control Alt. Uh, left button switch and let's go ahead and uh, rotate so alt and hold on left button there's my structure right there so at this point you know we're extruding in the Z direction I could go ahead and A and select all the surfaces and just hit the E button and extrude up the sides and there I'm starting to build my building very rapidly and uh, what I want to do is make sure I take care of that door situation you see if you zoom in here the door over here is not being extruded there's not a hole here left for the door, so we want to take care of that situation. So let's Alt-Z and go back to where we were. Let's hit the edge mode, and let's right-click and shift and deselect that part of the door. And now let's go ahead and do an extrusion, so we'll hit E for extrusion. And now see it's extruding up and leaving that hole for the door, but see it's going in all the different directions. What direction do I want to extrude is the Z direction, so hit the Z key, just extrude in Z, and there you go, you just built your structure. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to come along here and I'm going to just rotate just a little bit, take a look and see what I've done. So that button is Alt, Left, Middle, Mouse button, and there you go. Beautiful. Now there's a few things I want to do, but first of all, I want to actually close that door, extrude a little bit more so you can actually see a doorway. So the way you do that, we're going to go back to point mode, vertex mode. I'm going to right click on this vertex, hold the shift key down, right click on that vertex, and hit the F key to join those two. And there we have it. Now we're going to come along here, we're going to grab all the top edges and just extrude a little bit more so we have a doorway there. So I need to kind of zoom out, and that is uh, Control alt uh, left mouse button. I'm going to rotate this up so I select just the top vertices, so let's rotate up, Control alt and now this is where my uh, B is my best friend, so hit the B right there so we can box that out. Grab all those top, there we go, but not the bottom ones. And now we're going to hit the E key to extrude up just a little bit. There we go. That's pretty cool. And now let's rotate that and let's see what we just did. I'm going to zoom in on that doorway right there. There it goes. So you can see I have a door there now and actually there's a top to that door. What I want to do right now is I want to create the close the roof and close the bottom. And we already have those top edges uh, selected. We're going to just extrude just a little bit and then shrink. So let me show you this great technique. Go ahead and extrude a little bit, hit the E, and just a tiny bit, not a whole lot, but just a little amount. And then hit the S key, and let's shrink that roof in. There you go. And click there. We're going to hit the W key, and we're going to merge these points. Great.
and now we're going to create the bottom of our structure. So I'm actually rotate this over, Control Alt. So what we've done is we've rotated our structure over and we've selected the top vertices and we want to extrude those just oh so slightly. And then we want to uh, shrink that and then join those vertices so we have a bottom of our structure. So we come along here at the extrude key, okay? Just a little bit of an extrusion, just teeny, teeny, tiny. Going to hit the S key, going to shrink everything in. Ooh, there we go. There we go. And we're going to hit the uh, W key and then the 5 key because that's the fifth uh, item in the menu. Merge and merge at center. Get rid of those 37 vertices. And now you've closed your structure top and bottom. There you go. And we're going to alt and rotate. There's our structure. And there's our door right there. Let's flip that over so we can see the right side go in.